Hey guys, Hawaiian Pirate here. This is going to be an EOS Minion Add-ons Manager install and setup video. Um, I've watched some other people's. Uh, many of them are older ones that are out there. And I felt that it needed an update. And I saw a lot of the, the same questions asked repeatedly and I did not see where they were answered for some people maybe they finally were but I did not see it so I'm making this video to help you out or if you're new and you want to use the add-ons I will make this as easy as possible for how to set it up for you so the first thing you're going to need to do is install your Elder Scrolls if you haven't already and have that in your system now, as you can see, I already have Minion installed, but I'm still going to walk you through the process. You're going to want to go to Google, and you're going to want to search for Minion Add-on Manager. It should be the first window that pops up, which is Minion Premier Add-on Management. Um, if not, look for that one. You're going to want to click on it. It's going to bring up this window. You should see an eyeball in a box with a little toothy sticking out, and it'll say Minion Beta. Click on the downloads, and then you're going to pick whatever system you're running. If you want to run it through Java, which I have not tried, so I don't know how that works. Windows is what I use, and Mac OS. It has all of those. For Windows, you can choose 32-bit or 64-bit. Most people are going to run in 64-bit, although I have actually encountered a couple of people who run 32-bit on their systems. Okay, so you're going to go to the download of 64-bit. It's going to download the file. Then all you're going to do is you're going to click on it and install it. As you can see, I've already done that. And I did it a couple of times just to verify what I was doing to make sure that it was doing it the right way. Okay, once you have that installed, it's not going to put an icon on your desktop. To do that, you're going to go to your key, whatever it is. For Windows, it's the uh, Windows key. And then it should be right up in here and recently added. All you need to do is grab it and drag it onto your desktop, and that will create a link for you. And then you can place it anywhere you want. Once you have that done, you can open it up. It's going to search. It should find Elder Scrolls. Now, these I already have installed. You will have nothing in this window, okay? Uh, make sure that you're, you pick Elder Scrolls. It'll also ask you about WoW. I have not tested their WoW end of this. I don't play WoW anymore. So I'm doing this just for Elder Scrolls. I'm sure it works similarly for uh, WoW. And um, so far I'm very happy with the software. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do once you get to this point where you have Elder Scrolls over here, you'll have nothing over here. You're going to want to go to Options before you install anything else. This sometimes populates itself and sometimes does not. That's why I tried it a couple of times to see what happened. For me, it did not populate at all. So you're going to click on this little file picture here. You're going to open that up. You're going to want to go to your documents folder. Okay. And then you're going to want to go to, uh, and uh, you can do it the long way. You can go through my PC. Uh, C, Users, Your Username, Documents, and then I just click on the Documents. It makes it easier. Elder Scrolls Online is the one you want. So you're going to double-click that. Then you're going to go to Live. Make sure that is the next line. Then Add-ons should be already there. Elder Scrolls puts it in itself because they are add-ons uh, friendly. If it's not there for some weird reason, you can just create it but make sure you spell it exactly as it is on my screen capital a lowercase dd capital o lowercase n s when you open that up there will be nothing in it okay mine are already installed some of them then you're just going to click click select folder I'm just going to cancel out because I don't need to change mine. As you can see, that's the line that is right here. You can do it the long way. You can do it the short way. Once you have that part of it done, and hello, R2, how are you? Uh, <laughs> gotta love timing. Anyways, once you do that, you can go to find more. 
one of the most popular ones that there is out there is the map pins. It shows you a lot of things. It doesn't alter anything on your thing on your system, and I will show you what that actually does in a moment when I open up my system. You can back up once you have what you want. You can make backups so if something ever happens or if you change your system or if you do an update and something goes wrong and my phone is not cooperating with me right now. If something goes wrong, you can actually reinstall them. You can do a restore. I have not done that yet. As you can see, I just recently did this whole thing uh, for updating on my system. So I haven't done a backup yet because I haven't got everything installed that I want. So when you go to find more, if you know something specifically you're looking for, like if you're looking for something because you want to uh, do the Thieves Guild, you can just type in Thief and you will see everything that's out there that has to do with a thief. If you click on an item, like say you want to know where the thieves troves are, it will give you a, usually there's a screenshot of how it looks. Don't want to click install because I don't really want that one. Um, it will give you a little bit of information about it. Um, some of them are more elaborate, elaborate than others. And it will tell you the last time it was updated. Just because it's old does not mean it does not work. And that's one of the things we're going to go over where a lot of people are having problems because they're trying to use software uh, add-ons that are still used, that are very old, and the system doesn't realize it. I'm going to show you how to fix that the first time around so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's as easy as it is. Once you install an item, I'm going to show you. I don't have... This is what I have installed so far that I am working on. Um, I'm not sure what other ones I'm going to do yet. I've got to actually look through. If you just want to go by, um, uh, let's see, if you uh, take this away, the most installed ones will be at the top. Unless you change it. I don't think actually you can change it. So yeah, Oh yes, you can change the sort. Okay, so you can change the sorting by using this one here by the author, the title, the category, downloads. I would go by the downloads. So that way I know which ones are the most popular. And if they're the most popular, they're probably still in use no matter how old they are. As you can see, I don't use Sky Shards. I actually use a uh, map key or map pin. Sorry. Map pin, because it has sky shards in it. So I don't know uh, if you just want the sky shards part of the map. I guess that would work for you. Okay, so then once we got that, do not close this. Um, you have to have this open before you run your game for it to function. So leave it active. And if you, if you shrink it down, it will go down into your... Uh, Hidden icons. Okay, so now, now we're going to switch over to the game. We're going to actually load the game. And I'm going to click this as quickly as I can because it makes a very loud sound when it first comes on. Okay, there. I bypassed that so you didn't get blasted. Neither did I. So now, the game's going to start up. It's already installed. You're going to put in your password. If you've already set everything up, hopefully you did. Because uh, you need that there first. And then you let it live into it. Okay, so you're gonna go past your sign in screen. Once that loads up, Uh, gotta have coffee for everything. Coffee is the nectar of the gods. And mine takes forever loading in the loading screens. I don't know why. Okay, do not select your character yet. <clears throat> See this little thing here on the left-hand side where it says add-ons. This is where a lot of people are having a problem. Okay. By standard, allow out-of-date add-ons is unchecked like this. You'll see that most of my add-ons are red, therefore they will not load. Okay. And those are the ones that I use, they work. So, you click that, you can use the out-of-date add-ons. If you have a problem with an out-of-date add-on, you can always uninstall it. But once you check that, you can just go back, hit it, 
go back to characters, pick your character, and we'll finish loading in. Oh, here we go! Amazing! I'm in Hughes Bane. I'm actually working on the Thieves Guild right now. We'll be doing some other videos about that stuff too. Oh no, I'm still still wanted. Let me be clear. Leave! the guards! Okay, why are you not getting in there? There you go, thank you. Okay. So what we want to do is this is one of the add-ons. It actually shows Someone your swine. it shows your um quests that you're working on you can select them um you're gonna notice that if you are um not able to move your mouse or receive your mouse the way i do it is i hit the enter key which puts me into the texting mode but then i can come over here and i can pick what i want as you can see it gives you a lot more information about the quest you want to do you can pick the ones you want you can collapse these or bring them back okay that being said now we're gonna go to the maps okay you have your normal map you have your um areas the thing that changes is for the map pins is the one i was telling you about filters okay you now see instead of having just three you have a ton of things that you can choose from and if you look at a map, like that is a sky shard that I have not picked up yet. We're actually going to do a session, a few sessions on picking up sky shards to help you find them if need be. And my phone is killing me. I'm trying to click on an area. Of course, nothing wants to cooperate. Really? Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. As you can see, other than your normal map, it shows you a lot of stuff and you can turn things off and on that you want you can only have certain things on you can have tons of things on i have on uh most of the stuff that i actually look for when i'm out questing that's what your add-ons gonna look like in that case so that's two of the add-ons right there that i've shown you okay i'm gonna get out of here because i don't want to lose the stuff that i have so i gotta wait for my cooldown to go away Okay, so I'm going to switch back over to uh, Minion. As you can see, it was hiding down there. Okay, so... Um, I haven't totally played with all of these yet. Um, like, the Quest Tracker is the one that I have installed that you saw there. You can actually adjust the fonts on that inside of it when you're in the game. And the filters one that I showed you is the map pins. So those ones are, to me, are a big asset. Um, other stuff that you're going to want to use, um, or was it map quests? I'm not sure. One of these two are, is what popped that up. I'm actually not even positive which one it is. I didn't realize I had two different trackers in there. So that's my bad. Sorry about that. But the map pins is the one that shows the things on the map for you. So that's, that's a very popular one that I've seen a lot of guys use that have been playing for a long time. And I'm learning, so I'm teaching as I learn, which is a good point for me. Um, I will date my videos, and uh, my counterpart, Tower, will also date his videos. So you'll know how old they are and when they were last updated for your convenience. Again, I am the Hawaiian Pirate. This is the Night Show Community. And we're going to be doing a series of ESO uh, videos for you guys to help with things that we are struggling with or having problems finding when we're out and about so that it makes it easier for those of you. So please uh, hit that uh, button down below so that you can know when we put stuff up and you can come back and check it out as we find it and we do it. Until next time, I hope this was helpful. Have fun!